Hey cuties! So today I am going to be de uh, <laughs> doing my tea collection video. I love tea, I drink tea almost every single day and I thought it would be quite interesting to show you guys my big collection of tea, where I store them, how I store them, and different teas that I have. So if this is interesting for you girls, then stick around. And if it's not interesting, I have like 800 other videos you can go look at, plus a vlog channel, plus a new video tomorrow. So if this is something again you want to see, stay tuned and I thank you guys so much for watching. Okay guys, so this is where I store my tea. It's honestly nothing fancy at all. It's just what works for me because I drink tea multiple times a day. I want this area as clean and as easily picking <laughs> as I can. So basically this is just a shelf in my kitchen that's built into the wall like this and there's just spices all on it as so and at the very bottom I put my tea collection. Alright guys, so the very first things I'm going to show you are these two little diffusers right here. I actually don't remember where I got these. That's cool. Oh, yes, I do. It's Ikea. Basically, just open them up like that, put your tea inside, and then plop this right into whatever you are using, a teapot, your cup, whatever it is, and then the tea will just diffuse out of there as so. I think these are so cute and fun. Jars right here. These all are from David's Tea. David's Tea is my favorite tea place to get tea. Whenever I'm in the mall, I always check out to see if they have new teas or sets. Their sets are my favorite, hence these. This one is probably my favorite tea. Ever. It is espresso yourself, looks like that, and it, it is so good. But there's like little coffee beans, and it's so yummy. Aroma.com, let me tell you. Okay, the next one I haven't tried. Cinnamon rooibos chai, looks like that. I'm not too into cinnamon teas, so that's why when I do have them in a set, they're kind of full, because I don't know why. I like cinnamon, I just don't really like it in teas, which is weird, because I love chai tea. I have no idea what's the problem with me, but anyway. Okay, so this next one I haven't tried either is chocolate macaron. I really want to try this. I think I'm going to try this today. I like these jars because they're very secure. So that's that tea. And these jars are also good if you want to reuse things because they're clear at the top. You can put like earrings in there or earring backs. Alrighty, so now we got a tin from David's Tea. It says David's Tea right there and up there. And this one is organic cream of Earl Grey. Cream of Earl Grey from Davis Tea is probably my second favorite tea. That is how much I've used out of this. You can see in there that there's like blue specks. Right here, there's a bright blue one, these blue specks. So pretty, like this tea is also really good. I love Earl Grey. Just like classic tea flavors are my fave and this one is just so creamy and has a great aroma. Let's go into the box teas next. I have this one, it's organic green tea. Um, Imperial Organic. I don't really care of what the brand name is. Whenever I run out of green tea, I always run to the grocery store and pick up a new green tea and I will try every brand. I don't really have a favorite brand of green tea, but I love green tea and it speeds up your metabolism. Green tea is actually very good for you. So these ones are just individual packets that you just place right into your cup. Okay, so these little boxes right here are my David's Tea Fillers. They're both the same thing. I just have two boxes of them. They're just a tea bag like that empty and then you fill the loose tea in there and then put that into your mug or your tea kettle whatever you have they're the same things as the diffusers essentially but I love these bags I use them all the time as you can see I have a hundred plus in here and then I have 20 in here <laughs> well probably not anymore this one is chai green I love chai tea and I love green tea and this one's by stash I actually love this brand um, so never tried chai green before so I gave it a try and it's very yummy I've used lots of it as well oh and these are individual tea bags as well okay one of my top five favorite of all time teas I remember you guys asking me one day and it's this one it's by Celestial Seasonings for me I can only really find these uh, around Christmas time they have a ton of different Christmas amazing flavors this one is gingerbread spice herbal holiday tea Honestly, I drink this all year round. So the inside, this bag comes sealed. Oh, and by the way, I'm not sponsored by anything that you guys see in this video. To keep the freshness in, and then all the tea bags are in there. Oh my gosh, I don't even have that many. They come in twos like this, because some people like to have two tea bags, and you don't have to, you know, worry. You just grab it and go. I don't like that, because I don't like a super strong tea, but they're easily just to rip. Oh, and it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. Now I have two more box teas. This one is Lipton. 
Fusion Herbal Blackberry Vanilla Fusion. This one I'm pretty sure I got at Dollarama and I don't like it that much. I don't know. I love the tea bags though, like in love. They're like this. Uh, you just gotta, they're like taped or glued like that. So you just gotta kind of unglue it like this. And then it's a little pyramid like so. And then the tea is in there and you just put that right in your drink. But I love these and I wish you could feel them because it's almost like mesh. Like it's not your average tea bag. It's amazing. I don't really like the flavor that much. I mean, it's good, but I don't know. I don't really like blackberry vanilla. I think that's what it is. I kind of keep this one at the back. That's why I keep it just there. So if I am running out of tea, then I will resort to that. It's not terrible or anything. It's just not my cup of tea, girl. This one is by Mighty Leaf. It's in vanilla bean and it's Madagascar vanilla bean blend with a premium black tea. This one is a little bit more expensive than your average box of tea. I don't remember the exact price, but I remember it being just a little bit more expensive. So I was like, hmm, I want to try it because maybe it's super good. And I love vanilla bean. And right off the bat, I was like, holy crap. They're individually wrapped, first of all. And then the tea bag is like phenomenal. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, it's like crafted. And this like expands when it gets wet and they fill that. Actually, I'm just gonna keep this out because this is what I'm going to drink right after this. Okay, so last but not least, we have this little tray. And this tray right here, actually I'm gonna lift you guys up, looks like this. This actual tray held these originally. I really like this uh, box because it was separated here, if you can see that. So I do store what it originally came in over here and then I store others over here. So let's start with these little packets that these came in. So these little packets are loose tea and then you just scoop it out and put it into your tea fillers or your diffusers, whatever you want to use. Um, but these ones, I have Alpine Punch. I have cookie dough, which literally there's like nothing left in here. There's probably like not even enough for tea, but you know, I keep telling myself there is and just keep it. It is so good, this cookie dough tea. White Chocolate Frost is one I didn't, didn't really like. I'm not too into herbal teas. I love the green tea and that's kind of it, but I'm not too into herbal teas. I didn't like this that much. That's why it's kind of like fluffy like that. Like you can see there's lots of tea in there. Spice Fig, I love this one. It is festive. Oh, it does. It says festive tea combines cranberries, almonds, dates, cloves, and big luscious pieces of figs for a holiday treat. That's a pure satisfaction at next to no calories. The next one is chocolate oolong. And the last one is one I really liked and I will probably repurchase and it's coffee cake. Um, it's a sweet, fragrant black tea that has all the aroma of a fresh baked coffee cake plus an energy boost from the rich black tea and a fruity hint of cherry and pineapple. So good. I have four tins. These tins I also got at David's Tea in a set as well. Oh, I should tell you, this one is Goji Pop. It looks like that inside, Goji Pop. Coco Chai Roy, I don't know how I never how to say that. Roybos, 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 Roy. And this one I have loved. As you can see, it's almost down to the bottom. I probably only have about two more teas left in here. This one is super strong. It really is like spicy smelling and yummy. So this one's Jumpy Monkey. I probably don't have much left in here. Yeah, maybe one or two more. This was my very first favorite tea from David's Tea was Jumpy Monkey. It has like uh, coffee beans in it. And the very last tin um, is Cinnamon Heart. And this one I've had a few times. Again, I'm not really into cinnamon teas that much, but when I'm sick, I like them. Okay, now for the individual packets. Now, let me tell you why I have so many of these. My dad. My dad, whenever he stays in a hotel, whenever he goes on vacation, if he's at a meeting and there's tea bags, I, like literally wherever he finds like these individual tea bags, he brings them for me. So mostly all of these are from my dad because he knows that I love tea. So let's just go through them. This will be quick because they're really the same. Okay, these ones. This one's a Tazo Organic Chai Spice Black Tea. He brought me back a few of these and this is the only one I have left. I love Tazo Tea. Bigelow Teas. I only have two left that he brought me. Uh, this one is Lemon Lift and this one's Constant Comment. Okay, he also brought me back a ton of these a while ago and I haven't even tried them. So this is usually how many he brings me back. These ones are No Caffeine sa Snappy Ginger Herb Tea. Yum. Why haven't I tried this yet? Anyways, so that's my dad. This is usually how much he brings me back at one time. This one, 
Um, oh yes, this one was really good. I don't know how to say it because he was in a French hotel room, but this was good tea. <laughs> These ones he actually just brought me back. He stayed in a hotel on the weekend. Look at that. He's a crazy person. Ah! like literally too much so the, i haven't even got to try these yet because he gave them to me uh two days ago so yeah i haven't even went through these but i love the packaging like the packaging is phenomenal organic assam whole leaf black tea it looks really good it's by the two leaves tea company tropical organic tropical green whole leaf green tea and then the organic Tamayochia? I have no idea what's happening. But yeah, I love the packaging of these. One of the organic Earl Grey. Two jasmine petal whole leaf green tea. Yum. And last but not least, organic African sunset whole leaf red tea. Oh my gosh, this one. I'm so excited to try them all. Like, my dad is amazing. Like, he always thinks of me. So that was my tea collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it and loved it. I love tea so much. And thumbs up if you do too. And I want to see your guys' tea collection if you have one or coffee coffee collection, espresso collection, something like that. Tweet it to me or tag me in on Insta. I would love to see it. Here's a hairless cat. Hello, how are you doing? I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye guys. And this lip pencil is cray because it's so good. It's like a pinky moody and this is what I'm wearing today and have been wearing for a few days. Love this shade. All right, here's what this looks like. I'm wearing it on the lips right now.